story in Abia State where the governor of the state, Alex Oti, during an event on October 12th, announced that he will not accept his due salary during his tenure as governor, but instead will use it to clear salary backlogs of civil servants, among other pressing issues. He also advised attendees at the event on the benefit of family planning. Let's take a look. Everywhere I go, I go with my wife. I only one wife. Yes, sir. <laughs> Impressive. This is very impressive. This is very, very impressive. I, I, uh, God bless you, Alex Oti. See, this is the benefit of allowing somebody that is a square peg to enter into a square hole. This is what governors should be. I, as I talk to you now, governors in Nigeria should hide their heads in shame. Okay, there are a couple of governors in Nigeria that are doing certainly well. The Zulu Migbonu and a couple of other governors that are putting so much effort. Uh, I used to love Shane Markin. I hope he has not um, drifted. And a couple of other guys that are doing so well with governors, even with very little resources. See, what governors is, is being responsible and accountable. If you know, and that's, this will teach us a lesson. This will make us understand that when people vote you, you know that people vote you. You were not endorsed. You were not brought forward. You were not uh, introduced. You, are not, you did not buy the vote or it wasn't the godfather that put in words that put in words and words go to words it wasn't I neck you bought you work for the people that's what Alex Oti is doing as one of my content creator friends said other governors have declared him wanted that bad because they say Alex Oti is shaming the rest of the governor and he's mocking the rest of the governors of Nigeria he's mocking him that's subject to another day not today right so Alex Oti is embarrassing other governors. Please, let's share this video. This is an Alex Oti appreciation post. Let us share this video. God bless you, Alex Oti. Congratulations to Abians. Finally, at least it's 1999. You have had, you are now having the first governor. I don't know what the rest have been doing. They have been occupants of the government as now you have a governor that puts you first. I'm, I'm also very impressed by a couple of other things. The other day I saw him taking the uh, Hungary delegate to go and see the uh you see hungary or indonesia now right go and see the uh, domestic shoes the handmade shoes that are uh, abians are creating and that's attracting further investment looking at ways of increasing um, exports of the of, of the state so that they can begin to and that's how to place your state in the map god bless you alex and i pray that the good lord will protect you the good lord will shield you away from vampires and political grabbers that will come and tell you this is what to do next and you go and miss your step our wow, wow, prayer and then we're also praying for alex Oti particularly that's why he must share this video he must not miss it first and second time he must deliver good because a lot of governors do their best first time when they are re-elected that is all so for Alesoti, you will never be like that. Let's share this with you. Let us encourage Alesoti. And if you have a governor in your state that is working, put the name here. If your governor is not working, share this with you and tag your governor to say, see your mate. Tag your governor to say, see your mate. Then if you pull it ah, God will bless Abians. Eh? God will bless the rest of the states in Nigeria. That's all I can say for now. I'll catch you later. We'll take the story in Abia State, where the governor of the state, Alex Oti, during an event on October 12th, announced that he will not accept his due salary during his tenure as governor, but instead will use it to clear salary backlogs of civil servants, among other pressing issues. He also advised attendees at the event on the benefit of family planning. Let's take a look. Everywhere I go, I go with my wife. I have only one wife. Yes, sir. <laughs>
I have a way of managing my expenditure without my income. Eh? Within my income. Eh, so we are not expensive. I'm not even taking salary. The speaker reminded me that I've not taken salary for four years. I will not take it for, I mean for four months. I will not take it for four years. And it's not that I couldn't do anything with the salary. I don't need it. I think he's so exemplary. I mean, speaking about humility, let's just head over to Namibia, where President Hage Gengob, who was seen in a video, now making the rounds on social media, taking selfies with citizens while visiting a local bar in Windhoek. Let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. I mean, I over exemplary to, leadership. Exemplary uh, leadership. Uh, you see, we took you, the story of uh, the president uh, yesterday of Zambia, yeah. and now yeah. when you it. have a good leader, yes. the people celebrate. Yes. When you have a bad leader, the people cry Absolutely. hardship. They cry yepa. They say mugbi. Their lives about exclamations. Good leadership matters. Your vote Absolutely. matters. Absolutely. You will reap the reward of your vote. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say that um, Dr. Alex Oti has demonstrated what, how important it is to move away from career politicians. Yes. Whereby he's had an illustrious career in the banking sector. He's chaired the bank and now he's governor. So he's saying that he doesn't need the people's money to, um, you know, to, to run his home. Yes. Yesterday we talked about the fact that House of Representatives members were going to get um, buses, mobile transportation for their work. And we, we have talked about it a number of times to make governance mm -hmm. less attractive yes. so we can get quality people who are there mm -hmm. not for the money but to serve yeah. it's, there's no problem you know if you want to earn your salary for working yeah. but if you choose the higher road right. in terms of I, I have enough money to make you know for myself I don't need to be greedy maybe that the word is you don't need to be greedy yes. you keep amassing wealth and amassing wealth at the end of the day you can't finish spending everything Absolutely. so very commendable yeah. and I hope other leaders will take um, more makers is 160 well, million naira each for cars. 